presence of uh, Senator Marcos uh, and then uh, the following congressman, uh, uh, Rep Representative Manuel Del Dalipe of Sambuanga City, Representative Abdullah Dimaporo of Lanao del Norte, uh, Representative Raul Tupas of Iloilo represented, Representative Hill Acosta of Palawan, and Representative Geraldine Roman, and Congressman Leonardo Babasa Jr. Okay, so of, uh, okay, so this is about uh, local bills. <laughs> This is a public hearing held by the Committee on Agriculture and Food and Agrarian Reform. Our agenda are several House bills proposing the establishment of hatcheries and uh, as follows, a House Bill 7371, an act establishing a multi-species multi marine hatchery in the municipality of Liloy, Sambuanga del Norte, and appropriating funds, therefore, uh, authored by Representative Isagani Amato. House Bill 7434, an act establishing a central multi species marine hatchery in the municipality of Carles, province of Iloilo, and appropriating funds, therefore, by Representative Tupas, Representative Goreseta, and Representative uh, Boronda. An act establishing a satellite, uh, House Bill 7432, an act establishing a satellite multi species marine hatchery in the municipality of Ahui, province of Iloilo, and appropriating funds, therefore, by Representative Tupas, Representative Goriseta, and Rep Representative Nieto. And then uh, House Bill 7384. An act establishing a satellite uh, multi species marine hatchery in the municipality of Concepcion, province of Iloilo, and appropriating funds, therefore, by Representative Tupas and Representative uh, Goriseta. House Bill 7385, an act establishing a satellite multi-species marine hatchery in the municipality of Estancia, province of Iloilo, and appropriating funds, therefore, by Representative Tupas and Representative Goriseta. House Bill 7386, an act establishing a satellite multi-species marine hatchery in the municipality of San Dionisio, province of Iloilo, and appropriating funds, therefore, uh, authored by Representative Tupas and Representative Goriseta. And uh, House Bill 7386, an act establishing a crab hatchery for the production and multiplication of mud crabs in Mindanao State University, Naawan, province of Bisamis Oriental, and appropriating funds, therefore, by Representative Abdullah Dimaporo and Representative Mohammad Kali Dimaporo. And uh, House Bill 7369, an act establishing a multi species marine hatchery in Barangay Mambukog, Talisay City, province of Negros Occidental, and appropriating funds, therefore, by Representative Jose Francisco Kiko Benitez. And House Bill number 7370, an act establishing a multi species marine hatchery in the city of Sambuanga and appropriating funds, therefore, by Representative Manuel Manix M. Dalipe. And House Bill 7423, in a substitution of House Bill 1132 entitled An Act Establishing a Satellite Multi-Species Marine Hatchery in the Municipality of Piodoran, Province of Albay, and appropriating funds, therefore, by Representative Fernando Cabredo. And House Bill 7433, in substitution of House Bill 1133 entitled An Act uh, 
establishing a satellite multi-species marine satellite hatchery in the municipality of OWAS, province of Albay, and appropriating funds, therefore, by Representative Fernando Cabredo. House Bill Number 7435 in substitution of House Bill 1134, an act establishing a central multi-species marine hatchery in the municipality of Libon, province of Albay, and appropriating funds, therefore, by Representative Cabredo and Representative Cresoluco. And number 13, House Bill 7556, in substitute, substitution of HB 1931, entitled An Act Establishing a Central Multispecies Marine Hatchery in the Municipality of Minalabak, Province of Kamsur, and appropriating funds, therefore, by Representative Villafuerte. HB 7541, in substitution of HB 1727, entitled An Act Establishing a Satellite Multispecies Marine Hatchery in the Municipality of San Fernando, Province of Camarines Sur, and Appropriating Funds, therefore, by Representative Villafuerte. House Bill 7543, in substitution of House Bill 193. 1932, entitled An Act Establishing a Satellite Multispecies Marine Hatchery in the Municipality of Pasacao, Province of Camsur, and Appropriating Funds, therefore, by Representative Villapuerte. And House Bill 7704, in substitution of HB 5416, entitled An Act Establishing a Crab a uh, hatchery in the municipality of Kumalarang, province of Sambuanga del Sur, uh, appropriating funds thereof by Representative Babasa. And House Bill 7688, in substitution of House Bill 4627, entitled An Act Establishing a Multispecies Marine Hatchery in Barangay Mabayo, Municipality of Morong, Province of Bataan, and appropriating funds, therefore, by uh, Representative Roman. HB 7545 in substitution of House Bill 3264 entitled An Act Establishing a Central Multispecies Marine Hatchery in the Municipality of Villaba and Satellite Multispecies Marine Hatcheries in the Municipality of Columbian and later Province of Leyte and appropriating by Representative Peloso, can you please keep quiet? Please close and uh, mute your uh, no, equipment. Okay. House Bill 7547, an act establishing a satellite multispecies marine hatchery in the municipality of Batad, province of Iloilo, and appropriating funds, therefore, with no author here. Who is the author? But wala nang order. And House Bill 7544, I think uh, we can assume uh, Congressman Tupas. An act establishing uh, a central multispecies marine hatchery in the city environmental estate in Barangay, Santa Lucia, city of Puerto Princesa, province of Palawan, and appropriating funds, therefore. Uh, Who is the author of this? Congressman of Palawan. Congressman Acosta po. Senator uh, okay. Senator. Okay. The other one, it's two pass, Iloilo. Wala um, rin. Seven five four seven, Madam Chair, is authored by Congressman Tupas of Philly. Okay, okay, okay. So that's it. There are twenty one bills uh, here, and I want to recognize the presence of Senator Omato, ah, Representative Omato. Okay, sorry. And of course, we want to recognize. Ano ba to? Ito na hindi na ito. Ah, paano to? Kasama na ba dito to? Kulubulo naman. Ito. 
ya mba ito na mba third batch ano ba yan first batch second batch third batch ito tapos may third batch pa na gunggo na uli hindi si kulo parang mali ito Pareho ito. Pwede mo naman kung mag-tiernis ko ito. Pareho nito. And of course, we want to acknowledge a resource person. We have Commodore Eduardo B. Congona represented by Ms. Emmy Tunacao, Chief Inland Agricultural Division. Where is Commodore Congona? Is not here. Is somebody answer? Who is the most, uh, uh, what do you call this, a senior of all this representative? Yes. Can you answer? Can you remove this one? Uh, this is Can you remove this one? I want to see you. Okay. Oh, who is the most senior in BFAR? Who's here? Who is the most senior in BFAR? Who's here? Yes. You're, you're, you have to take care of your sound system. There's something wrong with the BFAR sound system. We cannot understand you. Where is the before? Something is here. Mom is a mom. Uh, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with your picture and with your sound. Good morning, Madam Chairman. Patay mo. Akin na yan, hindi pa mga congressman. Ano? Nasaan yung BIFAR? How can we have this hearing without BIFAR? Where is BIFAR? Walang BIFAR eh. Uh, good morning, ma'am. There's something wrong with your sound system. It's starting to chill. No, ma'am. Kailangan patay niya ito, sir, muna dyan. Off muna. Madam Chair, in the meantime, this is Aimee po. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That we cannot hear before, I would like to extend my support to as many of the hatcheries as possible, knowing full well its contribution to rural development. However, as you said, we really need before. How much will it take to set up a single hatchery? How many hatcheries do we actually have in the Philippines? And uh, under Bayanian 1 and 2, there's 500 million for hatcheries and uh, such uh, projects. So I would like to know if this would fall under those. And uh, I noticed that there are certain provinces na napakarami po ng uh, ating applied hatcheries. Seven hatcheries in addition to CIFDEC, Albay Tatlo, Camarines Tatlo rin. Uh, what are the viabilities of these projects as well as the demand so that some of the these hatcheries may perhaps be merged or the others assigned as satellite. That's all, Paul. It's just a manifestation when we finally get before to let all our congressmen know that we are in full support of this livable rural investment project. Thank you, Paul. Uh, I want to comment on the manifestation of Senator Marcos. We have approved in the past 42 hatcheries. And I think uh, before hasn't accomplished anything. I was so surprised 
uh, I thought the congressman who sponsored this would follow up with BIFAR and uh, report to me if there are no implementation. But nobody bothered to check with BIFAR. And as of today, there is no uh, uh, complete implementation of any of the 42 uh, uh, projects passed in the House of Representatives. You know, these projects are local bills. Uh, we just come, you just come to the Senate so that we will uh, give our approval to your local bill, which is really the practice in legislation. But uh, we don't, these uh, local bills uh, do not emanate from the Senate. It comes from the House of Representatives. And they didn't give me any, any update on whether their legislation on establishing marine hatcheries have been done by BIFAR or not. Except today, I checked and I found out that there are, on, there are, on, there are 42 uh, legislation passed and nothing has happened afterwards. Oh. I just oh, want to also to inform you that when you make legislation like this, I don't think uh, uh, the House of Representatives is strict. But in the Senate, if there's no feasibility study, we cannot approve your legislation because that is important. Because we have to see if we are establishing in a place that can that is feasible. And if you look at this... Uh, uh, 31 bills, only one, two, three, four, five ang may feasibility study. The rest, wala. Minsan kasi yung House, ina-approve nila kahit walang feasibility studies. But here in the Senate, we cannot approve without the feasibility study. Kasi why will we approve something that is not feasible? So that's what you have to do. You have to work out with BIFAR or anyone that you know that there is a physical that can pass through the Senate, okay? Because we don't approve any without feasibility study. Now, uh, that's why I want to see BIFAR because we cannot go on <laughs> with this hearing without BIFAR. Because I will ask them, why are you not implementing the laws passed by the House of Representatives? They said yeah. they, they asked for budget, but they did not get any budget. But they have a six but million Madam budget. Vice, but oh. Madam Chair, pero Madam Chair, ginagdagan pa natin ng budget eh. Kasi Ay, dun yeah. sa, by any year 1 and 2, may 500 million na naman. Hindi no, no. na pwede regular, sabihin wala. Even the regular budget, they have to allocate right. a certain amount for programs. Di ba? Hindi naman pwede ang budget eh, puro PS at saka M-O-O-E. Di ba? Hindi naman pwede yun. Six billion, wala man lang kayong ibibigay sa tao. What kind of agency you are? I remember, during the last, uh, the last, ano, uh, the, during the time of President Aquino, may iniwan yun si Asis Perez, the uh, BIFAR, yung mga fish landing facilities, di ba? Halos mahigit limanda ang fish landing facilities ang itinayo niya all over the Philippines. So siguro, we should require BIFAR that before he lives in 2022, aba, magtayo siya ng hatcheries. Diba? Oh, and that should form part of the budget. Huwag niya sasabihin sa akin, hindi siya nakahingi ng budget. A portion of the budget should go to projects. Wala lang kasing nag-feedback sa akin sa inyo. Na walang ginawa do sa inyo. Kala ko kasi, kasi kayo naman na nagpasa nito at this is a local bill, kayo ang mag-o-oversight dito at sasabihin nyo sa akin na walang na-construct dito. Ngayon ko lang nalaman kasi nung maghihiring, pinareview ko ano na ba na-construct at katakot-takot itong i-co-construct again. And nung lang lumabas, na wala silang na-construct na kompleto. So, I want really, and I'm so surprised that... Uh, uh, the, uh, ano, yung head ng BIFAR is not here. That's why I'm looking for the most senior. Bakit hindi siya dadating dito? This is a policy a hearing. I'm not hearing this just because I want to approve this multi-species marine hatchery. Because it's useless to approve this if they're not going to implement it. Diba? Bakit pa natin na-approve to? Niloloko lang natin sarili natin. I want to hear from here how he's going to implement this until his term ends. Kasi 
wala akong na-implement eh. 42 na yung dati, tapos this is 31, that's 70, 73. Oh, always going to implement this. Maigi nga, meron tayong 500 million sa Bayan yan too. Ang sabi niya, 20 million daw ang bawat isa, provided bibigyan sila ng lupa ng LGU. I guess naman yung mga nag nagpa-approve nito, hindi naman siguro kayo mahihirapang magbigay ng lupa do sa mga lugar nyo para tayuan ito, di ba? Kasi uh, mahirap naman kasi daw 40 million pag uh, sila pa magbibili ng lupa. Eh, ba't pa bibili ng lupa? Maghanap na lang ng lupa doon. Ano? And bigyan nyo ng lupa and then let them build the structure, di ba? Tama ba yun, uh, mga congressman? May I hear from the congressman. Okay, okay. And yes, ma'am, doon po sa pre-FS, yung lupa po ay dapat sagot na ho nung nag-propose at saka ng LGU po. Senator okay, oh, that's what I thought of, that you can always provide the land uh, in your district kasi marami naman public land sa ating mga district. So that, uh, yung sinasabi nila 20 million, but I haven't seen the estimate of the 20 million if that is uh, really uh, credible. Oh, uh, yes, another comment? Uh, uh, Congressman Di Maporo. Yes, Madam Chairperson, uh, one problem that I have seen uh, why uh, the implementation is delayed uh, is that uh, apparently uh, the BIFAR did not put enough uh, budget for the implementation no. what we have approved. Uh, you know, the, don't believe them because the last in the last term, uh, during the time of President Aquino, the budget of BIFAR is still much smaller, but they were to, able to build 500 fish landing facilities. So, so kung sila ay naka-500 fish landing facilities, tingin ko pareho lang ang halaga niya at saka no fish landing facilities. And we're not asking them to build 500. We are asking them uh, 42 plus this 31 is 73, di ba? O, mas konti. Pero, nandun sa budget. Talagang ganun. Pag may budget ka, you have to have something for PS. You have to have something for, for, ano, for uh, uh, MOE, may something ka to give to the people. Meron ba naman budget na walang ibibigay sa mga tao? Ano yun? Saan nila dadalhin ang budget nila? Ano reason for their existence? Yung regulatory nila, they earn 100 million a year for that. Uh, in fact, when I pass the IUUF law, they promised me that if I pass that, they will earn 1 billion. Pero nung, nung, mat, nung mapasa ko yung IUUF law, lalong bumaba yung kanilang ano uh, uh, lalong bumaba yung kanilang collection so oh, ano ang isasabihin mo doon na hindi nila ini-implement yung IUUF nalalagyan lang sila but bumaba pa collection di ba oh. so ngayon well, don't don't give me the reason that your budget is not enough there should be really in the budget uh, something to give to the people. Walang walang agency ng government na hindi magbibigay ng project sa mga tao. I don't believe in that. Oh, so that's not a reason. Kayo mga congressman, eh banatan nyo sa Congress at pilitin nyo na i-build yung inyong mga fish hatchery. Huwag nila i reason yun. May budget sila. Pareho lang ang budget. Mas mababa pa ang budget ng BIFAR during the last administration. I was also the chairman during 2013 to 2016, I saw na they were able to accomplish something with their budget. Kaya ngayon, pag nagkuha ka ng picture ng mga uh, fish school all over the Philippines, pinakikita nila yung mga fish landing facility that they built during that time. And I know it's more than 500 fish landing facilities in different uh, provinces in the Philippines. Bakit hindi sila ngayon makakabuild ng multi-species hatchery and hindi naman sila nagbibuild ng fish landing? Di ba? Oh. So I don't believe in that reason. Sa inyo. Yes, uh, Secret uh, Congressman Dimaporo. Yes, Madam Chairperson. Uh, 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 the uh, the other reason why it is uh, being delayed uh, is that uh, 
uh, we uh, uh, converted the law, the bill, into a uh, uh, law of partnership between the BIFAR and the local government uh, unit. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, and then uh, it is taking long, uh, like in Lano del Norte, and I think uh, also in the other provinces, uh, it is taking long for the uh, local government uh, to be looking uh, for means of how to uh, finance the operation of the... Uh, no, no. The idea is that BIFAR will take care of it the first two years. And yes. then after two years, it will be turned over to the local government. I would like to think that if you are a congressman and you file a bill like this, you have settled that, that uh, before we'll take care of the fish, uh, the multi-species hatchery in the first two years to teach the local government how to take care of it. And then the local government will take over afterwards. Oh, ngayon, kung ayaw ng local government, then it's okay not to build. Ayaw pala nila eh. Tinutulungan sila. Ayaw nila eh. Di okay lang. Ang gusto ko lang sabihin, pag gusto ng local government to build, eh, they should build. Di ba? Do you agree with me, uh, Congressman Di Maporo? I agree, Madam Chairperson. Uh, what I am saying <laughs> is that after two years, uh, the LGU will be taking over. Over, they, yeah. Yes, they accept that. Uh, oh. But the, the problem is making sure that after two years, they have enough money uh, to go on with the operation of the hatchery. And I think that's that why, before yes, you file uh, the bill, make sure that your local government is willing to accept. Diba? Why will you file a bill that they are not willing to accept? Because that's the rule. Okay? So, yes. if uh, the local government uh, doesn't want, and then, what can build? Diba? Uh, that's, ano, talagang ganun. Pag gusto mo na ikaw eh magkaroon ng project, you have to take responsibility uh, somewhere along the line. And I have to inform you that after two years, in 2022, the share of the local government sa IRA, lalaki. Diba? Okay. May ruling ng Supreme Court that the share of the local government in the era will grow big. Where will they put the money? Eh, di, dito, di ba? Yes. That's, no that's, more problem. Uh, di ba? Uh, According to the Supreme Court ruling, the share of the local government will increase in 2022. Yes, that's true. That's true. Yeah. But uh, oh. when, like, for example, in my case, when I filed the, the bills, uh, uh, it was uh, uh, purposely for uh, national government implementation. And then when we had uh, 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 when we had a meeting in the Senate, uh, that's the time that we converted it into a partnership between the LGU and the FAR. Uh, so before filing the bill, uh, the LGUs uh, did not think yet of how to finance it. Uh, so. But they accept it and they thank us uh, for uh, giving them the hatcheries, Madam Chairperson. They will, uh, they, uh, will find ways of finding it, uh, of, of, of funding it. And I think they can fund it, uh, we can fund it from uh, the income of the uh, hatchery. Hatcheries, yes, yes. We, we, yeah, we, we will oh. uh, yeah you can course. sell the fingerlings, eh? You can sell the fingerlings, yes? Yes. If you have a hatchery, you can sell the fingerlings and that will fund the hatcheries. Yes. At least you don't have any capital expenses, diba? Kasi minsan hindi lang feasible kasi mahal yung capital expenses. But if it's uh, operational expenses, if you cannot uh, make money out of the operational expenses, that's there's something wrong, diba? Yes, uh, and uh, oh. that is, uh, I, I was just explaining, Madam Chairperson, why the delay? And that is one of the delays uh, uh, yeah. in, uh, so, in finalizing the agreement between, between the, the LGU and the, and the BIFAR. But the BIFAR was saying, why, why aren't you constructing? And they said they have no money. And I cannot accept that as a reason. Because with your six budget, you have to have something to give to the people. That's not an excuse. Kung magtatayo ka ng lima bawat taon, sinasabi mo eh, 
20 million, di 100 million lang yun. What is 100 million with 6 billion? Kahit nga 200 million, 6 billion ang budget mo. Ang, ang 10% ng 6 billion ay bibigay mo sa tao ay 600 million, di ba ho? So I think there's, there should be, yung priorities lang nila, mali. And we cannot accept that. That's why I want to talk to uh, 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 Commodore Gingona kasi nagulat ako na hindi niya ini-implement to. Uh, ngayon, kung sabihin niya na nagka-problema siya sa local government, ayaw tanggapin ng local government, that's, that's ano, understandable. But yung sasabihin niya na wala siyang budget, that's not understandable. Kung sasabihin niya walang makuha lupa, ayaw magbigay ng lupa ang local government, that's understandable. But yung sasabihin niya na wala siyang pangtayo ng facilities, I cannot accept that. Oh. Kasi sabi ko, what are you going to leave during your six-year term? Na wala man lang kayo natayo, miski isa, para sa mga tao. Eh yung isang term, nakatayo sila ng 500 fish landing facilities. More than 500. I have to ask nga. Uh, kasi nung una, sinasabi nila 500. Pero matagal pa ang end ng term nila, yung paka naka-700. Eh ba't naman hindi siya makakabuild ng 72 fish landing uh, hatcheries, di ba? Eh, mas mura naman yung 72 kaysa 500. And they have the same budget. So, yun kaya ako gusto. Nawala na nga sila. Nagtago na yata. Can we ask now the, ano, the BFAR to appear? Kasi another problem with this is walang pre-feasibility studies to eh. So, I cannot approve anything without feasibility studies kasi we have to understand if that town, when we build fish hatcheries there, it's feasible. Diba? Kasi meron technical aspect to eh. eh I'm not a, 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 a fishery technician. So I want them to approve the feasibility of these marine hatcheries or so the BIFAR to approve. Para hindi nila i-reason na hindi feasible. Okay? Yes, uh, BIFAR. Na, yeah, you have here. Uh, BIFAR planning my uh, are you Maria Abigail, Apostol? You're a man. Your name is a woman. Uh, can you introduce yourself and make your uh, 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 manifestation? Uh, yeah, you're the one. Yeah, we cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. Please open. Please uh, unmute your, uh, no, we cannot hear you. Morning, I am Maria Abigail. Yeah, uh, you're the daughter. Yes, yeah, you're po. the daughter of, ano, of uh, Congressman yes. Apostol. Yes, 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 yes po, ma'am. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. We have our... Ma'am? Yes, make me your manifestation. Yes. Yes, ma'am. We have here our officer in charge. Our Assistant Director for Operations, uh, Dr. Juan Albaladejo po, ma'am. He will be yes. the one to present. Okay. Ito po, ma'am. Okay, we recognize Dr. John Albaladejo of Albaladejo. BFAR Director because I think your, your BFAR, BFAR Administrator is sick, isn't it? Okay, can you yes, uh, make your representation? The before yes. will make its repre its uh, presentation. Okay. Uh, can we share on the screen, para mama we can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Uh, regarding mom, sa ating ano mom, yeah, you're correct, mom. Uh, before I've done something, mom, uh, as per your requirement, mom. Uh, we source out some funds uh, for this year from our GAA, our regular funds, and also from the state, uh, uh, Bayanihan too. And right now, ma'am, we're Bayanihan building... Bayanihan two is 500 million. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Bayanihan two is 500 million. If you say that uh, 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 you spend 20 million for each, that's 25 projects. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma oh, so ma where are the 25 uh, projects? Ma'am, currently, ma'am, we're building five uh, of the 
because this one already uh, done the feasibility study and right now they are three are on already in construction and three are for bidding out and for uh, construction this year no and this funds were so please clarify i cannot understand you you're building five what yeah, we're building, uh, oh, we're, building, it? we're building six, six ma'am the oh. three is on construction and, and, uh, yes, oh. and then the three is uh, the three for uh, different stations and I don't know for uh, other for construction. They are, so they are not five; they are six. Okay. Six oh. months. Six, six oh. months. That was. That was, ma'am. Uh, we, we have another nine, uh, uh, ten that uh, ongoing uh, feasibility studies. And hopefully this will be, some of them will be finished by next year. So we ano plan... Ano uh, feasibility study? Kailan matatapos? Uh, kasi ma'am, will take about six months to finish the feasibility study. Sinabi, nung naghihiring tayo dito, bago ko in-approve to, sinabi niyong okay. Hindi kami nag a ng hindi okay. According to feasibility. Tapos ngayon sasabihin niyo, nag-feasibility study na naman kayo. Ano ba yan? Pandemic na stop. Ma'am, kasi mga na-stop mo sa pandemic yung iba. So, right now, that's ngayon, ngayon lang na proceed yung PCB. Kasi mga PCB ni stop. At sinasabi nyo pang reason, eh, uh, no feasibility study unfunded. Bakit, anong klaseng organization kayo na hindi nyo kayang gumawa ng feasibility study? Eh, ano ginagawa ng planning nyo? Bakit nyo pa uh, ipapanding ang feasibility study? Pag isa kayong organization na iyan ang linya nyo at hindi kayo makagawa ng feasibility study, bakit pa kayo naan dyan? Magpasama. Ibig sabihin ko, kayo. wala kayong marunong sa inyo? Eh, sinasabi nyo sa buong BIPAR, walang marunong? Ay, sadang gumagawa. Ako ang tiyo natin ay sadang gumagawa. Huwag nyo sasabihin ko na kayo niya. Huwag niyo sasabihin sa akin, pasa sa contract niyo pa yan. Diyos ko naman, isang agency kayo, walang marunong sa inyo. Hindi ba nakakahiya yun? Uh, <laughs> Meron kayo, uh, ano, uh, dapat kayo kaya niyo gumawa niya. Kasi kung hindi kayo marunong gumawa niya, eh anong klaseng agency yan, hindi marunong gumawa ng feasibility study. Kung kumpanya namin ganyan, eh, uh, tatanggalin ng lahat ng empleyado. Huwag niyo sabihin sa akin yan na walang funding a feasibility study. You do the feasibility study because uh, <laughs> meron ba namang isang agency before, kalaki-laki, 6 billion ang budget, walang marunong gumawa ng feasibility study. Ang dami-dami niyo dito. Before has expertise and can recommend. They have nine technological centers that can conduct verification studies and field testing. Before in Butong Taal, Borkel, Batangas for inland fisheries such as Malipito and other migratory species. Mindanao Freshwater Fisheries Technology Development Center located in the University of Southern Mindanao compound in Kabaka, North Cotabato for aquaculture technology in freshwater. Number three, National Bra Brackish Water Fisheries Technology Center, Sitio Irigan, Palsabangon, Pagbilao, Quezon, for milkfish, grouper, saltwater, tilapia hybrid, and mud crab. Number four, National Freshwater Fisheries Technology of Bifar in Munoz for freshwater hatcheries and training for tilapia, hito, and ulam. Number five, National Inland Fisheries Technology Center located at kilometer 52, Manila South Road, Suyok, Tanay Rizal for Laguna Lake for carp and other carp species. Number six, National Integrated Fisheries Technology Development Center located in Bonoan, Binlok, Dagupan City for grouper, signa, siganid, bivalves such as oysters and clams. Number seven, National Maritime Fisheries Development Center for training in marine fishing crew such as skippers, master fishermen, and boat engineers. National Seaweed Development Center yeah. in Kabiad Answer Sogon. And National Mariculture Center in Panabo City, Davao del Norte. Okay, so ano ginagawa nito? Uh, so binasa ko lang sa inyo, ano ba tayo? 
<laughs> Diyan nyo lang ginagasta pera nyo, sasabihin nyo, hindi nyo kaya. Eh, ano pa reason for your existence? If you cannot build uh, hatcheries, what is the reason for your existence? Ano kayo, regulatory? Wala kayong ano, development program? Hindi naman tama yan. Okay, nagtataas po ng kamay, Congress, we wish to acknowledge Congressman uh, Dalipe. Okay. May we hear from uh, the uh, Congress? Nag, uh, would you finish? Would you like to finish their presentation? And uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. You ask after. Okay. Ikino question ko lang to nung no feasibility study unfunded. Aba eh, kung hindi nyo kaya gumawa ng feasibility study, what is the reason for your existence? Uh, sayang naman yung mga scientists dyan sa inyo. Okay, you go ahead with your presentation. Go to slide, please. Uh, ma uh, uh, this month are the one that we done, the pre, uh, pre, pre civility study done by our regional office and also part of the Congress uh, congressional re representative. And Pero yung sinasabi nyo na proposed site not technically feasible. Opo, ma uh, kasi ma'am. Bago namin in-approve yan, Iho, tinanong namin ng BIFAR. Really, I, I tell you, I didn't approve anything na hindi nyo sinabing hindi feasible. Tapos ngayon, sasabihin nyo hindi feasible. Huh? Ma'am, uh, bali ma'am, ma site check. Ma'am, approve ma namin, eh, sinabi nyo feasible. Wala kaming in-approve na hindi, sinabi nyo hindi feasible. Tinatanong muna namin kayo kung okay ito eh, bago namin in-approve. Ma'am, this one, our house bills, ma'am, that uh, right now we don't done the due diligence already. Lahat ba itong not technical feasible? Ngayon ba lang ito? Itong a-approve natin ngayon? Ito may mga bago, ma'am. Ito may mga bago. O, bago ba lahat yan? O, dati yan? Yeah, bago, ma'am. Bago lahat, ma'am. Ito, ma'am, lahat. So, we can tell them that this, this uh, town's not feasible. Conception, Iloilo, Estancia, Iloilo. So we make that manifestation before think that the following uh, house bill are not feasible. Concepcion, Iloilo, Estancia, Iloilo, Pio Duran, Albay, Ahuy, Iloilo, Owas, Albay, Pasakao, Kamsur, Kalubian, Leyte, Batad, Iloilo, Kumalarang, Sambuanga del Sur. Okay, that's a manifestation. Okay, proceed. Uh, next slide, Bob. Then, uh, next slide. Then, uh, this one, ma'am, uh, ito ating, ano ma'am, no, uh, as your... Huwag mo, akong bigyan, huwag mo akong bigyan ng budgetary requirement. You have a 6 billion budget. You have to find uh, ma dito budget na for that. Na uh, alam mo, bakit kayo bigyan ng 6 billion budget na gagastahin nyo lang sa... sa, sa PS at saka sa inyong overhead, hindi kayo magbibigay ng programa? Wala kayong reasons for your existence. Ma'am, ito naman ano kayo, Hindi naman kayo regulatory. Hindi naman kayo regulatory. You are regulatory and developmental. In fact, you earn from your regulatory powers. Ma'am, ito naman yung aming pondo, ma'am, na nakuha sa na source namin sa pondo natin sa 20, uh, 2021, ma'am. So, every year, you have to allocate. That's very little. That's yeah. very little. You know, okay. 100 million out of 6 billion, you're going to only give 100 million to the people when you have a 6 billion budget? Sige po ma'am, dadagdagan po namin to. Eh, wag nyo naman. Ako, lahat tayo, marunong tayo mag-manage ng kumpanya. Your, your, uh, your ano, is kumpanya. Your, it's like a company. You know, in a private okay. company, their overhead is 15%. Their marketing cost is 15%. Their profit is 20%. And their cost of goods sold is 50%. Kayo, wala naman kayong, wala naman kayong marketing expenses. Wala kayong uh, uh, profit. So yung 50%, ibinigay na sa inyo para inyong overhead. Ngayon, yung 50%, ibigay nyo sa tao. Because you don't have any cost of goods sold also. 
So parang mabait na sa inyo, imagine in a private company, their overhead is 15%. Kayo, ang inyong binibigay na namin sa inyo, 50% ang overhead nyo. Tinanong ko yan sa DBM, makano ba yan dapat overhead ng isang uh, government institution? Sabi nila 45%. Oh, binigay ko na nga, ako, binibigay ko na sa inyo 50%. Di kung 3 billion, di 3 billion ng overhead nyo, 3 billion, ibigay nyo sa tao. Oh, tapos bibigyan nyo ng 112 million? Ang, ang, ang 50% is 3 billion. Oh, ipagpalagay nyo ng ayon nyo, ibigay yung 3 billion, pero hindi 112 million. 200 lang. Sige po ma'am. Ah, kasi ma'am, right now ma'am. Sabihin, sabihin nyo yan kasi that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Ako, hinihiling ko lang sa inyo yung ipinas na, na mga na mga uh, fisheries, uh, yung itong mga multi-pieces hatcheries ng, ng mga congressman. Gawin nyo naman. Eh, Ang naipas lang nila eh. Sabi nyo nga, hindi pa pwede to. Ang iba nito. So, ang maipapas lang nila, 50. 50 is 1 billion in 6 years. Eh, wala nga kayong ibinibigay. Saan nyo dinadala pera nyo? Huwag nyo ako. <laughs> Alam nyo ako, hindi naman ako demanding. Wala akong hinihingi sa inyo. Wala akong pinipavor sa inyo. Pero my God, you give what's due to the people. Sabi sa akin ng DBM, ang overhead daw, dapat 50%. 45 nga lang eh, sabi ni Abad. Eh. O, oh. oh, di dapat yung halimbawa 6 billion ng budget nyo. 3 billion ng overhead. Yung 3 billion, ibibigay nyo sa tao. Wala naman kayong binibigay na 3 billion sa tao. Eh, ba't nyo naman bibigyan ng 100 million? Masyado naman yung malayo yata yung sa 3 billion. <laughs> Ako, hindi ko nga kayo nire-require. Aba, Abay, ibigay nyo. Nakakahiya sa mga congressman, pinasang batas, hindi ma-implement. Yes, ma'am. Ma ma uh, per our FS, ma'am, kasi ba, meron mga 19 ongoing, ma'am. Siguro, ma'am, uh, we'll try to increase, ma'am. Basta kayo, by 2022, lahat na ipinasang batas dito, gawin nyo. Para hindi tayo nakakahiya. Oh. Ano yung pamamana nyo? At least yung previous administration, they left yung kanilang 500. More than 500 fish landing facility for the fishermen. Kayo, siguro mapamamanan nyo eh, yung mga pinasang batas na fish hatchery, eh, gawin nyo. As your performance for the last six years. Oh, hindi ba tama yun? Is that asking too much from you? Is that asking me too much from you? So ngayon, you said that some of this we cannot be approved because of lack of feasibility. So we will have another hearing. You find out if this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, uh, hatcheries, what is the feasibility? And maybe we can ask the congressman to suggest another place that is feasible in their province. Oh, para mapagbigyan naman natin sila, di ba? Oh, oh. Uh, we cannot decide on this. Yes, we, we now, uh, acknowledge congressman Dalipe. Okay. Congressman Dalipe, you have now the floor. Yes, yes, uh, uh, Madam Chair, and I fully agree with you. Uh, dapat, especially po ngayon, kasi kwan tayo, yung senario natin dapat, especially sa BIPAR, agriculture, sa lahat, post-pandemic economic yes. recovery. Yes. So, like sa mga rice farmers po, namimigay po yung Department of Agriculture ng mga rice seeds, na mga yeah. machinery. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, eh, like in my district, in uh, Sambuanga City, which even though it is a city, but on 90% of Sambuanga City is rural. So, uh, malaki na sana ang tulong ng BIFAR uh, post-recovery efforts kung uh, susundin nila po yung sinasabi ni Senator Sincha na dapat gumalaw talaga sila kasi ang laking tulong like in my district uh, the fish pan area is about 4000 hectares and that is Sambuanga City 4000 hectares po and and yung total number of families na pwede matulungan natin instead magdo-door out tayo na parang ng ano to sap 
Uh, kung ibibigay natin fingerlings, kung aalagaan po nila yung fingerlings, yung 2 pesos na binigay po natin sa tao, eh magiging 50 pesos po yon So, ang ganda sa na ng tulong ng uh, BFAR. And I fully agree and I'm very happy with Senator Sincha. I did not... Uh, I, I did not make a mistake of campaigning for you in Sambuanga City. Thank and you. Po, I am one with you, uh, Madam Senator, Madam Chairman. At your ako kasi, uh, Congressman, ako, naintindihan ko naman, ang laki-laki nang binibigay natin sa kanila sa overhead. I think that 50% is very big. Oh, sa private is only 15%. Pero we're giving them by the, the benefit of the doubt na ang gobyerno is not that talagang uh, efficient. So, binigay na natin yung kalahati sa kanila for their uh, overhead and their PS, di ba? Pero naman, yung kalahati, eh, ibigay naman nila sa mga tao kasi that is the reason for their existence to serve the people, di ba? <laughs> Yun lang naman ang palagi ko sinasabi sa mga government agency na under my, ano, yung ako ang may Uh, what you call this oversight Oo. Eh, wala akong pakailam doon sa ibang government agency na hindi naman ako oversight but tatlo lang naman yung may oversight ako eh. uh, agriculture uh, environment and uh, DAR eh, sila interconnected pa sila kasi ako ang aking uh, talagang uh, advocacy is poverty reduction So I thought that I should go to agriculture because the poorest people in the Philippines are in agriculture. So I can practice my poverty reduction advocacy in agriculture. So yun na kaya ako. Kaya nagagalit ako sa kanila. Sasabihin nila wala silang budget. E eh, 6 billion ang budget nila eh. Oh. Ipagpalagay na nila mas malaki pa ang kanilang overhead. Pero yun bang bigyan tayo ng... Uh, uh, budget for this uh, 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 fishery facilities na ipinasapasa they, the congressman uh, went through the process of passing it in congress para lang magawa, hindi pa nila gagawin, parang masyado namang hindi maganda. ba? Diba? Do you agree with me? Hindi naman maganda yon. Kaya ako yes, pinukwersa ko sa kanila to finish this project before they leave ng 2022. Para at least may maipakita sila na yun ang nagawa nila for staying in that BFAR agency for six years. Di ba? May mapakita sila na ano ang naitulong na sa tao. Mapalad ka, congressman, kasi ikaw yung nakalistang proposed site technically feasible. Sambuanga City. O oh, yun, labindalawa kasi eh. Tapos eh, siyam yung hindi technically feasible. So, 12 plus... Uh, nine is 21, but we have 31. Where are the others? Yung remaining uh, uh, 21. May sampu pa eh. Ano opinion nila doon sa sampu? Uh, can we hear from... Uh, from uh, there is another one who wants to speak. Uh, Congressman Acosta. Oh, Congressman Acosta, yes. yes. Yes, Madam Chairperson, good morning po. Nagtataka lang ako ma'am dito sa BFAR. Kasi bago po ipinasa yung mga house bills na nakalagay ko. Yeah, dyan, yeah, I know. I know. Nagkaroon po ng FS at ang sabi nila po pwede. Ngayon, so sabi nila. The, they're talking now of this, of this, the the 31. Yung okay. bago. I think these are all bago. And then they have only uh, opinion on 12 plus 9 is 21. They have no opinion on the 10. Bakit wala silang, may 10 pa eh, na walang opinion eh. Kasi 21 lang to eh. Oh. Opo ma'am, tama po. Pero nung nandito ma'am sa, ano, sa House of Representatives, being the TWG, lahat po yan na ipinasa namin ma'am, oh, sabi nila eh, okay. Ayun, oh, eh, Opo. Hindi, i-hold new budget nila sa House of Representatives. Ano ba dapat, yan? Dapat talaga ma'am, i-hold namin yan eh. <laughs> Hindi, kasi bakit ganito? Ngayon, 31 to, o ilan? Nasaan yung sampu? Nawawala yung sampu. Uh, before, o oh, I see, nasaan yung sampu? 31 to eh. Ano ang opinion sa sampu? Ma'am, originally, we received 21, but uh, suddenly, uh, it's, it's 31. 31. It's 31. 31 ang nakalagay dito sa hearing eh. Oh. Yes, uh, but uh, during um, but during the house hearing, mga kasi we are 
subject to 12, ma'am, and it was within 21, ma'am. Mm. So, na na bago man sa nadagdagan po another sampu. Sa tayo na-receive? Hindi pa namin na-receive, ma'am. Oh. 21 lang natapos, may natapos. 31 to eh, di ba? Di ba 31 tong binasa ko? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ah, 21. Oh, it's correct. It's 21. It's 21. I thought it's 31. So, 21. Okay lang. Nagkamali ako. Okay. So, these are 21. Maybe you, sabi mo daw, dun sa house hearing, feasible lahat yung 21. Tapos ngayon, sabi siya, hindi feasible. Nagigalit na yun yung mga congressman. Di sana doon pa lang sinabi nyo nang hindi feasible para naghanap sila ng kapalit. Why did, you, why did you say it's feasible and now you're saying it's not feasible? Uh, ma'am, during, ma during, during the house hearing, ma'am, uh, naging resource person kami, ma'am, and really nagsabi ma'am kami, if you are ma'am, that we listed here, hindi talaga feasible to ma'am kasi ma'am, Una -una, so, mawala sila. Sinabi nyo daw, feasible eh. Why will they Ma pass something that is not feasible? Madam Chair, may I recognize yes. Congressman yes. Babasa po? Okay, Congressman Babasa. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Good morning. Good morning po sa lahat, including sa resource person, sa mga colleagues ko sa Congress. Uh, with regards to House Bill 7704, uh, may, 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 anong lugar sa yun sa'yo? Anong lugar yun sa'yo? Kumalarang sa Buanga del Sur. Sa Buanga del Sur. Opo. Oh, sabi hindi daw feasible. Oh. Hi. Madam Chair, uh, the first proposal ko po dyan is multi-species hat marine hatchery. Mm. Then during the TWG meeting, sabi nila hindi feasible ang hatchery, pwede ang crabs hatchery. That's why mm. it was changed to crab hatchery na. That's oh. why I didn't find it... Uh, Reasonable, bakit nilagay nila na technically feasible when in fact, oh. ang SIP deck in assist na siya, feasible po siya the local government unit has already uh, promised and to give us the proposed site and mm -hmm. within three years they will uh, take, take over, over the management Opo. Oh. nandito oh. po si Mayor kasama ko po siya oh. Oh, sagot uh, before OIC, sagutin mo yon. Sabi ni Congressman. Ma uh, after ma-check mo na aming mga tao, ma'am, uh, sa easement po siya ng mangrove, eh bawal po tayo maglagay sa easement po ng mangrove. Uh, yeah, pwede po siya sa ano, pwede po siya mag-grow mag up for crabs. Hindi ba ka nagpaka ibang side? I-move nyo. Sus Mario, sip naman. Why would you say it's not feasible? Oh, meron daw silang ibang side. Gustong gusto nila eh, ba't ayaw nyo tulungan? Po, I will ano as the adito po yung regional director po ng ng nine. Uh, I will ask uh, exact him again. Right now, bakakala nyo pag sabi nyo hindi feasible, eh, titigil na kami. Ba e eh, eh, gusto gusto na mga tao hindi ba to ang hinahanap natin yung mga tao ng gusto gusto na improve ang lugar nila. Kaysa naman mga tao na walang pakialam sa lugar nila. Tapos ayon nyo tulungan. You're making. That's what we're doing, ma'am. We're trying to help them out. You know, uh, we will have another hearing. Uh, we, I will give you time to, ano, to take care of this so that, uh, what do you want? Uh, we will pass na yung first 12 and then you will take care of the next nine. Yes, and we will have if another possible, hearing for that. Uh, will that be acceptable to the congressman that we will pass the first 12? Uh, and then, uh, uh, how, how long will you, it take you to fix the problem of this, ano, this next nine uh, before? How long? Ma'am, uh, we will uh, co coordinate with the respective congressman. How long? Uh, because I will call a hearing. I will call a hearing. Uh, you tell me how long, so I will call a hearing after that. So, para naman hindi nakakahiyado sa mga congressman kasi we will pass the first 12 and the uh, 9 we will hold until uh, you come back and fix this oh Mag siguro so, December ba? first week of December layo naman nun we will be coming back November uh, 
the resumption of session in November. November, ano ba yun? 14? 14? Ano ba yun? Sige, ma'am. We'll try to do that, ma'am. To beat that oh, deadline. They are coming from different places and you have people from different places. Yes, ma'am. So, yes. Uh, we come back to session uh, November 16. So, maybe we can do it sometime November 19. November 19. That's a Thursday. See, ma'am. Is that all right with you, uh, Congressman? Who are yes, listening apa. in the... Uh, okay. Mada yes, okay. Madam Chair. Okay, po kami doon. Okay. So, we will pass the first 12, uh, which are... Uh, HB 7368, HB 7369, HB 7370, HB 7371, HB 7386, HB 7434, HB 7435, HB 7539, HB 7541, HB 7541, HB 7556, and HB 7688. And then we will uh, have another meeting on November, 4, uh, November 19, uh, 2020 to hear the remaining nine, nine uh, uh, local legislation, HB 7384, HB 7385, HB 7423, HB 7432, HB 7433, HB 7543, HB 7545, HB 7547, and HB 7704. Okay? So that is the result of the meeting, and that is with the consent of the present na mga congressmen who are here. So yung matitira, we will hear on uh, November November 19, and I hope uh, you can find some, uh, because of the problem of lack of feasibility, you can find some, uh, what you call this, uh, way of doing it together with the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources so we can approve it when we come back. Yun lang po. Oh, meron pang question? Madam, ma 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 ma'am, ma ma'am. Yes, Senator. yes. Thank you very much po. Rest assured with your with your leadership there sa sa Senate especially sa Committee on Agriculture uh with the passage of these uh bills we can provide more livelihood. Kailangan po talaga ng mga tao yung hanap buhay po and I I fully support you po sa hanap buhay po uh, Madam oh, Senator. So sabihin mo sa iyong boss na basta ang gusto ko yung mga nakapasan na batas for fish hatcheries na mga congressman matapos natin bago i-end ang term natin sa 2022. Tama ba yun? Oo. We will provide for budget there. Huwag niyo sasabihin sa akin wala kayong budget. Find a budget but we have to implement. Yun lang. Thank you very much and uh, this meeting is suspended. Thank you very much Madam Chair. Good morning.